In this video, I'm going to show how to use a potentiometer to control the uh, speed and direction of a motor. So here is my potentiometer. Uh, it's now set to the zero zone, which means it's in the middle, the middle setting. I'm going to turn the dial to one side to clockwise, and that will make the motor turn to one direction. And as I turn the, the dial more, the speed increases to maximum on one side. Now I will turn the dial around the other way. It's slowing down and eventually get back to the null zone or, mid or middle zone with no speed. Keep turning it and it will turn in the reverse direction with gradually increasing speed as I turn it on. So how does this work? So here's the code. Um, and I defined my mouse. Uh, I've defined another variable here for potentiometer. Let me turn off that noise. Okay, so um, the reason why we hear that. Um, that squeaky high pitched noise is because even though the motor's not spinning sometimes, it's because um, the PWM, PWM value is not strong enough to make the motor spin. So what you get is the energy being sent to the uh, motor is actually transferred into vibration uh, and that vibration causes sound and that's why you get the high pitched whine. But when the PWM value is high enough in either direction the motor will spin. Uh, that explains the high pitch whine. Now going back to this here, um, so I've uh, set the pin mode to output for the two pins to the middle controller, uh, but input for the potentiometer. Um, and down here is my mapping function again to convert the raw values into a value anywhere between 0 and 255. And that value between 0 and 255 is checked down here if the value is under a hundred that means it's going to be turning in the uh, reverse direction if the value is above 155 it's going to be moving the forward direction so down here now we deal with the situation of when the value is above 155 we're going to move in the forward direction I set my uh, I use my analog right command to assign a value to the motor controller and what I've done here I said that to get the motor spinning I need at least a, a value of 80 that's why I have 80 there um, and maybe a bit more so if you have a bit of load on the motor you might find you have to make that even higher maybe 120 or something and then the rest of this is basically trying to proportion up the uh, the value so we get a maximum 255 and you might even get more than 255 with that multiplier there but it's no big deal um, the, the Arduino will handle a number more than 255 without crashing. Uh, so down here we handle the reverse situation, so the same thing again. When there's no load, the motor should hopefully spin in the value of 180, uh, at, of 80 only. Um, but if we want to decrease the dial more to the counterclockwise direction, we should get a maximum value eventually um, of spinning in the reverse direction. That's, why that, that's, what, that, that's what that does. Now down here, we got, uh, so if the value of adjusted pot value is between 100 and 155, we'd say there's no speed. <coughs> so I set both values to zero, and that's how that works.